Hey guys, this is your friend Mainak from Civil Center and welcome all of you back to our channel and another video on Tecla Structures. So friends, in today's video, we'll show you how to insert longitudinal reinforcements in columns in the Tecla Structures software. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So before starting, I want to tell you, we have launched for you a complete recorded course on G plus 3 building design using Tecla Structural Designer in which all the aspects of your planning, structural design and making the final structural drawing sheet will be covered and in this course will also include two live demonstrations and two doubt clearing sessions for you so what are you waiting for hurry up and you can contact the number which has been given here and also you can register using the link which has been given in the description so first of all we have this particular column now we want to insert longitudinal rebars in it so for that let's open a particular view let's uh, select or open the grid to view as you can see this one so we'll go to windows and open uh, the grid to view and after that we'll simply use the option of we'll go to concrete and we'll use the option of bar group so in this particular option of bar group let's you know change this particular cover thickness from plane to zero and we can uh, change the particular uh, bar size as per our preference we have taken 16 mm bars and uh, creation method we want to create one bar that is equal uh, distribution by target equal or even fixed number of bars so equal distribution by number of reinforcing bars and we want one bars okay so we first select the part to reinforce so let's select this part and uh, this is our shape of the bar so we'll start from here let's uh, start from here and we'll go up to this much and for the starter bars let's go of a value of 250 and then press the mouse middle wheel button so since we are at the grid 2 so we'll just check the 3d view so we have created bars along the grid 2 so let's now we have to pick the two points to indicate the range to reinforce so the range will be like from here to here so we have you know created one bar so if you can uh, observe it in the other view which we had created as well we can go to windows and we can go to our particular grid 2 so as you can see the bar has been made with the bend for the starter bars so now if we want to adjust its uh, position so we can also do that so for that let's go to the top view so let's uh, change it from the plus 200 uh, view so we'll go to the plus two, uh, 200 1200 there's a plinth level and we have this particular bar here so we we'll select this and we'll go to edit and we'll use the option of let's say move special we'll use the option of linear movement let's uh, give it a particular uh, y if we insert a positive value it will go upwards let's give it 20 and then check and we'll need to do more I think more 10 so you need to you can adjust uh, this uh, like this so now we are good with the Y I think and now we'll do it as 0 now let's change the X so X let's give up 30 so give it more 30 okay so I think we can give it 5 or minus 5 minus 2.5 okay so now it's uh, at the proper position now I'll click on cancel this you can also mirror this so if we just go to view and uh, work plane and work plane tool sorry we'll go to work plane tool and we'll, if we set this particular work plane and uh, after that if you click on escape you select this and uh, after selecting this if we just click go to edit and click on uh, copy special mirror we have to select two points for the mirror let's uh, so first point let's select this second point let's select this and then copy so as you can see this has been copied by the using the option of mirror so again if we close this and if we click on escape we select this 
and we select this and now if we again want to mirror this let's check out if it's possible so we'll go to edit once again copy special we'll select the option of mirror and first point of the mirror and then second point of the mirror copy and after that we'll check now close this and we'll go to the particular 3d view control plus one now we'll check this in the 3d view so as you can see the longitudinal rebars have been inserted so this was our video on how to insert longitudinal rebars using the option of rebar sets so if you want to gain from my experience and get trained from us in Tecla Structural Designer, Revit Structures, Tecla Structures or any other software courses related to civil engineering, you can check out the link which has been given in the description. And if you want to contact me or contact our team, you can do so using the number which has been given below. Bye-bye.